Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys. Hope you guys are doing well. So this is your general, your general log reading for uh, May. We're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading. See what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself. And of course, for vice versa as well. Feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading. It is time stamped. So this section is really for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle on camera. So if you click in the uh, description bar below, you'll see where it says start reading. Click on that and that will bring you to the uh, start of the reading. Like I said, this section is really for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle on camera. As I always say, please just take what resonates and just leave what doesn't. And if this isn't your story, but don't pick up on your story, stick around as, you know, sometimes there could be just messages throughout this that jump out and speak to you. And of course, just use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go. Because ultimately we, we create our own reality. I do, to I will say this though, guys, it's taken me forever to uh, get these readings done. I mean, so many challenges, so many obstacles, uh, technical issues. Oh, you name it was happening. Uh, attempted this at least a few times. So, uh, but we're here. We are here. So let me just take these in and I'll do that. All right, so Scorpio, let's start with reading. And of course, take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up as uh, this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here. But you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. And as you can see, there is extra cards laid simply because I had to, I needed clarification. So these are clarification cards. All right. And of course, if this doesn't resonate, feel free to check out your other readings for the month, Scorpio, which should be pinned in the corner as I speak. So let's start your reading. So just touching on the past, just kind of getting a feel of where you guys are coming from. There seems to be hesitation. So in your thinking position, we've got the Knight of Cups, uh, which talks about it's, it's a very slow moving energy when we're talking about the Knight of Cups, Cups hesitation as well. So this uh, hesitation on your part to put balance and harmony uh, with the temperance there back into this. There seems to be some form of balance or harmony that you're wanting to put back into this. But there's there was, again, this is the past. Definitely hesitation there on your part. Uh, I'm not sure what happened, not sure what went down, but there's definitely hesitation on your part where with your person, they're seeing this as, or they're thinking, we've got the three of cups or the three of pentacles, which talks about coming together, collaboration, teamwork, partnership, that type of thing. Uh, thinking about that in terms of yourself and this relationship, but there is this choice. It's like, I need to make a choice about this. Um, something around a change uh, with the five of pentacles there, which represents change. Something around a change and them feeling up in their head, trapped or stuck or constantly thinking about that. I feel like it's tied to this choice that they need to make. Very much stressing them out or was stressing them out with the nine. They're highly stressed. Um, I would go so far as to say it's maybe sleepless nights, uh, or causing a lot of maybe anxiety on their part as well. So I'm not sure what happened or what went down, but you're wanting to put balance back into this and they seem to uh, be in need of making some form of choice about this, which they're kind of in their head about or was in their head about. Which brings us to where we are at the moment. The current energy or current state of the connection, we've got the two of blades. So the two of blades is talking about not wanting to pay attention or not seeing something, not wanting to deal with something. So there's not, there's, how do I put that? It's like, I tell you what it is. It's like you're both off in your, off in, uh, it's, okay, imagine being in a room and you're both kind of at two separate ends of the room and you're both off in your corner. This person is very much in hermit mode. So they're isolated in terms of just their emotions, their thinking, very much asking themselves those important questions, analyzing things, digesting things, trying to come to some form of decision or trying to, uh, get answers to certain questions that they have 
Uh, and with yourself, there's definitely confusion there. You showing up as the seven. So there's confusion around this. You're confused about this in some way, shape or form. It's tied to the fact that you feel like we've got that three of, of cups here. So I feel like you think they might have someone else or there's a third party situation going on here, which is causing you to think strategically. Think about how you're going to move, how you're going to handle this. Uh, there's understanding, we've got the, the, the Queen of Cups there. So there's understanding, there's patience, but we do have that judgment card there, the karma in this deck. So there's a bit of judgment around that for you. Your challenges, this hesitation, uh, this slow move in energy, this slow move in energy, uh, come into some form of decision about this, but you're wanting a solution. It's like, I need some form of idea, I need a solution because that's your challenge. You're not moving forward. You're not or and if you are moving forward, it's very slow. It's very hesitant because you're. It's 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 about this decision, something around a decision, and you wanting an idea or a solution. You're not really feeling positive about things though. With the four, uh, focusing on things that have gone wrong, focusing on things that are not going right. With the four of cups there, where with your person. We got the higher thing card there. I'm going to pull on that as well. I didn't need to, but I'm going to pull on this one, uh, which talks about high commitment or higher knowledge. Sometimes that's sometimes for me, and it really depends. And that's why I'm going to clarify this. Sometimes for me, this card represents, of course, higher commitment in some way, shape, or form. Sometimes that represents you know, marriage, uh, exclusivity, that type of thing. But sometimes that also represents just having experienced enough to know more to have enough knowledge, enough wisdom uh, to know more about something. So that's definitely in their thinking position or what they're thinking. I'm just going to clarify that. <laughs> Got the sun card and death. Okay. So it seems like this person was or is thinking. Mm, okay. So the sun represents acknowledgement of like a positive impact uh, that something's having in their life so there is that however however we do have the ten of swords and the death card there so it seems like there is some form of uh, this is represent higher knowledge wisdom experience so it seems like at one point you represented uh, maybe a positive impact in this person's life with the sun there but that's come to an end or they feel or thinking that it's come to an end uh, and and there's some form of transformation or death around that for them in terms of their thinking. Their challenge is that that fall, which is laying a foundation, laying a foundation, unable to lay a foundation, unable to have an opportunity to build something. The luck coming in as well, and we do have the seven of of swords there which is a very sneaky energy so this person could be maybe spying or uh trying to figure out or trying to find out information or maybe even not even so much find, trying to find out information but maybe just kind of hiding things if that's the case but the the most important thing is is this challenge around laying a foundation and, and, and building something with the ace of pentacles there still very much has have has uh, there's still very much are very much strongly attracted to you. So there's a strong attraction there with the lovers. You both could be very different as well, or that's how they're seeing it. Could be very different, maybe uh, grown up different or different backgrounds. There's a difference in some way, shape or form. But we do have that nine of wands, which talks about still, you know, challenges, holding on, but having challenges around this. Yeah. Holding on, but still, I'm going to clarify that. We've got the Empress, communication card, and we've got the Knight of Cups there, which is slow moving. So there is this element of them still holding on, regardless of the challenges that are being faced, because there is this feeling of uh, creating something or buffing something, let's say that. Uh, there, there is communication here. There is communication here, or at least an element of communication there, but it's very slow moving. It's like slow, hesitant, hesitant to communicate. 
hesitant to express, hesitant to reach out, that type of thing there. Well, with you, I don't feel that's related to work. I feel that's that's you wanting to put work in. There's a focus on what, uh, with a level of belief that you can make something happen. With a level of with the magician card there. Magician talks about having all the resources and the tools in order for you to make something happen. So you feel like, you know, there is this want to put in work because there is this element of you feeling like you can make something and turn something into something, or you can make something happen. There we go. That you can make something happen. This is what I'm kind of wanting to focus in on this, this higher knowledge, this wisdom that this person has gained. That might... Uh, it's, this, it's this part here that um, might throw this off for you. You know, this person's uh, experience or wisdom or knowledge that they've gained around this. Like I said, at, at one point, there is this acknowledgement of you having a positive impact in their life. It seems like that's kind of come to an end or... Yeah, something around an end in it regarding that or a, a, re a, a death around that. Yeah, I'm not sure what's happened here. I'm not sure what's gone on. Uh, Relate it to, you know, take it as it resonates. Going to clarify these. Yeah, do you see what? Yeah, there we go. So it's wanting to put work into this relationship or the inter coming together. We've got the three of pentacles, which talks about collaboration, a relationship coming together, co-creating, that type of thing there. But you do have the magician card there. I'm not sure whether that's... Uh, hmm. Yeah, we've got that reckless, what Knight of Swords. And I was going to say, I'm not sure whether that is... Hmm. How do I put that? I'm not sure whether that is to your benefit, because that might be... How do I put that? I don't want to be too harsh. That might be too much confidence or too much of an ego because we've got the night night source there, which kind of clarifies what I, I was thinking um, or what was coming up for me is that it's a bit of a recklessness around that. It's like uh, maybe that's a bit too much confidence or uh, the ego or uh, there's a recklessness around that at Scorpio for you. So, yeah, I mean, you know, I'm not, as I said to you guys before, I will be implementing the uh, extended version so that uh, what, where, we, where we move to next, where this goes to next, next week, guys, so look out for that. Just, you know, like I said, I've had some technical difficulties, so I don't want to push it. But hopefully this is giving you some form of clarity. Uh, you know, the, the, the silver lining is, is there's still this strong attraction there. Uh, there is this element of this person still holding on, something around communication. But we have to pay attention to this element of this higher knowledge or wisdom that they that they've gained through this. So that you know could shift things, but not even so much shift things, but it's definitely changed things slightly in terms of how this person was thinking before. So hopefully this is giving you some form of clarity. For those of you who don't know, I do weekly uh, singles and love readings. I will be implementing the singles as well next week. I so look out for that. Um, other than that, have a beautiful, beautiful day. And I shall see you next week.